Hi, my name is Tom Stetter, and this is my pro dream. Um, it really all began in Little League in Naperville, Illinois. Knock Park was the park that we used to play at. 1986 was my first Little League season. I was 10 years old. And every Little Leaguer, every player all the way up through uh, college dreams of playing professional baseball, especially when you carry it that far to college. So I was uh, no exception to that. Played pretty well in Little League. Um, was on the all-star teams and that sort of thing. Also uh, went through you know, high school, did really good in uh, high school, Pony League, you know, that sort of thing. Um, and, uh, you know, went to college, had a little bit of a personal uh, family issue, so I had to stop playing. That was my it, you know. Uh, I say every player that I've ever talked to who's never had the chance to play professional baseball and always wanted to has always had some sort of an it, uh, whether it's an injury, you know, their knee, their shoulder, something like that, or... Um, you know, whether it's uh, some kind of issue like they just feel like they don't want to play anymore or it's uh, something outside of their control, which was my issue. So I unfortunately had to uh, quit playing and uh, quit college for a little while. Went back to uh, college, uh, got my associate's degree from junior college in Glen Ellen, Illinois, and uh, got my bachelor's degree from UNLV, where I currently live, in Las Vegas, Nevada. So I uh, had thought about walking onto those teams, but... At the time, I'd been out of uh, practice and out of playing for a little while. I figured there's no way that they're going to give me a chance for that, so I didn't even bother. I mean, even in high school, um, I didn't even know that scouts started looking at players in high school. When I was there, my coaches never said anything. Um, you know, teachers, parents, I never had any friends or anybody else that said anything. So uh, I just went through and played my games, and, and that was it. I... Um, I did play also on a city league team when I was there, and we were actually really good. Uh, my high school team was not so good. Uh, we had some pretty pretty bad seasons overall, which in hindsight probably contributed to the fact that I never got looked at by any scouts. The, mostly the scouts just go for the championship teams or the legion teams, the travel ball teams, that sort of thing, and they never even uh, bothered to look at uh, us in high school. And even my city league team, we won the championship three out of four years. Um, and we played kind of, you know, regionally, just in our in our uh, suburban Chicago area there. And uh, we were really good. That was a really good team to be on. And we never got looked at, at least not as far as I ever knew. So um, fast forward a little bit. Uh, I'm in Las Vegas, and uh, I get a job at a radio station. Kind of stay active, playing slow-pitch softball and stuff until a buddy of mine asked me if I want to come out and play some hardball. I haven't played uh, hardball in forever. I said, yeah, sure, I used to be a pitcher. I'll come out and throw a few innings for you, threw six innings, and uh, realized that I probably should have been pitching all along because my uh, shoulder, my rotator cuff, really took the brunt of that. Ended up having surgery and um, started my rehab stint, what I'll call my rehab stint, with the Sand Vipers here in Las Vegas. And uh, they're a MSBL team. So I started with them, great bunch of guys. I'm really uh, glad that uh, Gary, the coach, and uh, all those guys kind of took me in and uh, help me, you know, get stronger, get better, learn how to hit with a wood bat because I had never really done that before aside from practice. So uh, there was a lot of different things that I had to learn, and um, I'm glad I kind of got that done. So uh, through that time, I always heard players talking about how they played um, minor league baseball or college or overseas even. And to be honest, I was jealous. I always, I thought that I always deserved a shot, and I never got it. You know, even in uh, even in college, we had some scouts come and look at the team, and um, you know, we just just during our spring practices and that sort of thing, and they had told me that um, you know, I, I could, there were some areas I could improve on, you know, speed and strength and that sort of thing. Obviously, I was 18 years old, but at least they thought I had some future potential. Had to drop out though, um, and that was over. So. Uh, not much you can do about that now, but um, yeah, I was always jealous with these guys on the team, uh, you know, talking about their experiences playing and stuff. So I started putting my uh, putting my name out there, putting the word out on some message boards and that sort of thing. Um, for especially for the overseas teams, I heard that playing in Germany, that Germany was a really nice place to play. So I contacted all those teams and um, hadn't heard you know anything back from anybody really until uh, November of last year, 2008. I get a message from the Bald Ham Boers over email, and they said that um, they found me and they 
uh, asked for, you know, statistics and, and that sort of thing and some of my playing history. And um, they offered me a job as the head coach and player. And uh, after a lot of discussion here, I took it. So I'm finally getting the chance to play professional baseball. My dream is finally coming true, uh, albeit in Germany. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, it's, it's going to be a great time. Uh, you know, I hope that uh, the Boers and I can really, uh, can really go for it this year and win a championship. And I hope I can do well also, get some good stats together, and hopefully come back to the States and try out for maybe some independent league teams um, or some uh, even some affiliated teams. I don't know. Anybody who'd uh, take me. You know, I, I just I love the game of baseball. I would love to continue playing it professionally in whatever capacity that is. And uh, the hardest part about that is having somebody take a serious look at you, especially when you're, you know, over 30 years old. So um, I'm not that far over 30, only 32. But um, finally getting into uh, some really good shape over there. I'm sure I'll get into uh, even better shape playing on a daily basis. And, uh, and we'll see how things go. Um, I'll keep you updated as the season progresses. Until then, uh, it starts February 19th.